Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this Model Y driver's side fender removal and installation. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. On this particular vehicle, we got a little bit of a challenge ahead of us. This customer actually drove from Chicago all the way down to Houston in our facility to go ahead and get their pre-painted auto body part, which is the fender, installed to this vehicle. Let's see if it matches. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna go over here to this side. And if you guys look closely, as you guys can see, there's a push pin right there that we're gonna have to take off. And to take off this push pin right here, all you need is a fly head or a panel removal tool just like this one. And it looks like that guys. So all it is is two pieces and it's pushed down like this. And just put something flat right in between that and push it up. Alright, so we got this fender flare or like trim piece right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take off and all we have to do is push it. I pull it actually. So let's see, we can just pull it. There you go, comes right off. And all it is is held down by these clips right here. And if you guys see right there, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Just gonna go ahead and take that off. We should just be able to pull this back, just like that. I don't think we need to take off the whole bumper because all we need to do is take off this uh, bolt right here. All right, guys, so if you guys go in here, you pull this back. Right there, you're going to reveal a 10 millimeter. And then, as you guys can see right there, it's another 10 millimeter. There you go, right there, it's focusing. Another 10 millimeter you guys are gonna have to take off. So this 10 millimeter is pretty easy. All right guys, so right there, right in the front, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter just like that. Just down here, you're gonna have another 10 millimeter. Alright, so if you have a white vehicle, it should be a white bolt right there. So you guys have this side marker right here. If you guys have something soft like this, go ahead and put it on there and just pry this off. Let's go ahead and unplug it. Press it down on these pins right here, I believe. Yep. And this one too. And there you go. All right, guys. So if we go down here, there's like another bolt. So if you guys go right here, right there, you guys can see another bolt just underneath. We're gonna go ahead and take that off with a 10 millimeter bolt. All right, so you got that 10 millimeter bolt. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, mud flap off. It's pretty easy. So you're just gonna go ahead and get this right here. There's gonna be a clip, go ahead and take that off. Another one back here. So let's see if we can bring this down a little bit. There we go. So if you guys got put a little bit of pressure on it, it'll just go down. And let's see where this bolt is. 
So when you guys pull this back a little bit, you see those two bolts right there? Those two bolts right there, I'm gonna take those off with a 10 millimeter. Okay, so yeah, So that one looks like this. Okay. All right, here's another one. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and open the door. All right, guys. So if you guys go right here, so you guys can see right there, there's gonna be another, gonna be another 10 millimeter bolt that we need to take off. So we got one more bolt just like that one right there. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and pop that hood open. And we're gonna, just going to go ahead and remove this cover right here. All it is is like pop it up, pop it up. And we should be able to go ahead. Okay. All right, guys. So you guys go back here, right here, this windshield reservoir right here. There's a little push pin that we're gonna go and take off. Like that. And then up here, I'm gonna go ahead and take off that 10 millimeter, that 10 millimeter, that 10 millimeter, that 10 millimeter. And I believe that should be it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if this one just takes off. Oh, there you go. Go ahead and pull it up. All right, guys. So we got a couple more bolts here. So we got a 10 millimeter right here. We got to get this push pin out of the way right here. A 10 millimeter right here. And I believe another two 10 millimeters right here. And that should be it to take off this front bumper. I mean, that should be it to take off this fender right here. All right, so in the front right here, what I noticed is that it's just clipped on, right? So if you guys get something plastic or something like this, just pull the bumper back a little bit. All right, guys. So now that the clip over there is uh, gone, you can go ahead and just pull this fender off. Just watch out for these wires right here that you don't pull it all the way out. And there's your fender. All right, guys. On the old fender, we're gonna go ahead and take off the accessories that's all around the uh, fender, and we're gonna put that back onto the new fender. So we're gonna start off with this bracket right here, and this bracket right here has a 10 millimeter bolt that we need to take off. Just come right off. That bracket looks like that. Right in here, guys, there's like a plastic tab. Just go ahead and take that off. With like a flathead. As so you guys can see, it's just held on by these back clips right here. And if you press down on it, or if you guys get something enough to kind of depress on it, it'll, it'll pull back down and you guys can take it off. All right, so in the front of the fender right here, you're gonna have this bracket that held, that holds the bumper and the fender together. And All right, so you guys gonna be using a T40 that looks like this, it looks like a star. So it's gonna be a Torx Bits T40. I'm gonna take off this one right here. Then this should just wiggle back out, just like that. Alright guys, so you guys can see on top of the fender, there's these black clips. Let's go behind it. So this is one of the clips, so this is how it looks like in the back end of it. 
So you just basically press down on this tab right here. Like that. And it'll release it from this actual metal part. And then you can just kind of angle it. And it comes right off. And there's going to be an additional two more. So there's three all together. All right, so you guys have just one last clip right down here. Let's see how you take this off. I think you just press down on it. Right. Mine was having a hard time because I had this little piece in there. All right, guys, so here's your Model Y uh, brand new fender from Red Moto. If you guys need this fender for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. Let's go ahead and put all the accessory back on it and let's see if the color match works. So. Alright, the last thing we're going to put on is this white piece right here, and it goes right in here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this fender on. Alright guys, so get yourself one bolt, because you're working by yourself, so we can just secure one of the bolts on top so the fender doesn't fall down. So just remember that you guys have this wire right here. The fender has to go on top of this, and, you, and this thing has to go behind the fender and then just line up the holes. Let me show you guys where I was having a little bit of an issue. Alright, so you guys might have this issue also. Right here. Make sure you ensure like the fender goes inside of here. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the headlight on. You guys don't make the same mistake. See this thing right here? You see that piece right there? The back of the uh, the back of that headlight has a prong that goes in there. So put the prong in there, and then everything should go back in place properly. So we got this bolt, which is a black bolt. And this black bolt goes into the fender. Right here. This white bolt right there. And then over here, remember you guys have like that bolt right here and down there that you have to secure. So over here is going to be the black bolt. All right, guys, before we tighten up the top bolts, we want to go ahead and check the alignment on the hood. All right, guys, go ahead and uh, put those bolts in place down there. And then we're going to go ahead and plug it up.
So right here, we're going to go ahead and pop this into place, like that, and then put that bolt in there. Alright guys, off camera I went ahead and put on the reflectors and this bolt back here. So this bolt right here was already, I already went in and put that in the uh, fender off, off camera. Okay, we're going to go ahead and snap on the fender flare or the trim piece. And down there is going to be a clip. And this side is all done. So now we're going to go ahead and pop the chunk open. Alright guys, so that's how you install a Model Y driver side fender. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any prepaid auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. And let me know what you guys think about the color match.